Welcome to Abstract Boss. Today, I'm going to walk you through how I made these beautiful ocean seashells. You can use them as decoration or you can even put little feetsies on them and make them into coasters if you fill them up enough. Either way, I'm going to walk you through the technique I used to get these. So without further ado, let's get to it. Y'all, before we get started today, I just wanted to give a really big shout out to Frugal Resinista because she did a reaction video to my video and it completely took me by surprise because I didn't know she was doing it. So it was so awesome to watch that and see her reaction to my artwork and it just... Oh my gosh, it filled me up with so much joy and so many good feelings. I just loved it. So I just wanted to give her a quick shout out. So if you guys have not heard of Frugal Resinista, you definitely should go over there. I'll put a link to her channel in my description so that way you guys can check out the reaction video and subscribe to her channel as well. Show her some love. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to speed you guys through mixing the epoxy. If you're not sure how to mix the epoxy, I do have a video here. And you will need a heat gun for this particular project. The heat gun is what creates those beautiful cells when you are pushing the white across the blue. Now that I'm done mixing up my resin, I'm gonna pour it into three paper cups. I have three different colors that I'm working with. I use the boysenberry, and then I use the sapphire blue by itself, and then the sapphire blue mixed with the glitter. And then of course you will need just a little bit of resin for the white. You will not need a lot for this particular project because you're only making a couple small lines um, within these shells. I started off with the glitter line right in the middle because I wanted to sort of have a way to stop the purple from going too crazy when I poured the purple in. And then same thing with the next blue just to have that kind of barrier in between the two. So that is why I started with the glitter. And then after the glitter, I went ahead and did that boysenberry color, which is super pretty. I'm a huge fan of it. And then last, I poured in that light blue. The biggest thing that I found with this particular project is there's so much depth to these shells once you start pouring, and it made it very difficult to just do one layer. So right now I did them as just one layer, but it definitely blurred together too much and I really did not enjoy that. So what I would recommend is doing this in multiple layers. Even though the shells are a small project, they are very deep when you start pouring that resin in. So personally, I think it would have looked a lot better if I would have just done my first layer with the boysenberry and then the second layer with the boysenberry and glitter, and then the third layer with the boysenberry, glitter, and the blue. And then I could have done my white with that same layer. So I honestly would recommend three layers in this particular project. But if you're like me and you're very impatient and you just wanna see what happens when you get in there and start doing it, then this is what's gonna happen when you do it on one layer. It blurs together a lot, which I don't mind, it does look pretty, but I'm saying if you want those pristine lines, definitely do it in a few layers. It'll help you out a lot. After you're done laying down all of your solid colors, you wanna go ahead and torch the top, and then we're going to get started with our white. So the next thing that I had difficulty with outside of the depth and all the colors blurring together was that it was very difficult to level the shells out. And you'll notice that when I get started with my white. Now, the same thing happened with my ocean circle coasters that I did, and I'll put that right up here at the top corner. And when you're doing the white lines in a confined area, it actually makes it a lot harder and you don't get as beautiful of cells as you would on an open piece. So because of that, I did bring out my Resi Blast to help get some of those cells going. And then I decided I didn't like it. They were too big. So I used my heat gun again 
And then I just sprayed my translucent green right on top. All in all, I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous, but it is a very difficult thing to work with. So I do, again, I recommend those multiple layers. So that way that white doesn't crawl down along the bottom of the shell. It'll just be trapped on that top layer and that'll help it spread better as well. And that's it. I poured out the remaining resin onto my plastic here so that way I can use it as one of my skins in another project later. Then I torched it one more time and then I let it sit. And here's the final project. Let me know what you thought of these particular shells. I would totally recommend putting on some of those small circular rubber feet that you can get from Michaels or on Amazon. And if you put them right at the base of that shell, where it all gets very deep, I would recommend just putting three, and that would be a nice good stand for these coasters to stand on if you are gonna use them as coasters. If not, just use them as some super cute bathroom decoration. You can make some awesome wax molds to put inside for just soap decoration. Um, soap molds, not wax molds. And that would also be cute. So really the sky is the limit with the shells and utilizing them in whatever way that your imagination can see fit. So let me know what you thought of this project in the comments below. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone.